fueled up Irishman <laughs> who likes to do headstands and tutus. <laughs> Whatever lurks in the water, most tourists aren't deterred. In fact, some go to unusual lengths to enjoy their day at Bondi. I'm just, oh, I'm scared, a little bit scared for him because it's a bit dangerous, but no, he really enjoys it, so I'm happy to see that he's enjoying something. Stephen is from Dublin and likes surfing the Irish way. Back home, we don't have much uh, sport shops to surf for, then, so you have to do with what you're given, you know. The, the four legs on the Ireland board helps matters, you know. Kind of steady on yourself, and then when the wave picks you up, you go straight back into the shore. You know, sweet ride. I've only been ahead like three years, so I suppose I am a natural, yeah. Blake got a taste of dealing with drunk partygoers on New Year's Day. Now the rookie's got the job of dealing with these two on his own. What are you happy? I, I fell. Are you I don't especially rescue. sore anyway? Yeah, oh no, Blake. I'm up with the What about your head? Yes, yeah, very tender. Very tender. And your shoulder? That's tender. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What you did it when you were here, man. So what have you got in your case? Oh, sea lion. Lots of stuff, <laughs> yes. Sailing, because you got off the sand. You got off the sand, I'm gonna give you. I can put you to sleep. No, you too, guys, but I keep bandaging you. You should be sweet. So, where are you girls from? I'm from Vietnam. I'm I'm Vietnamese. Do you want me to help you up? You get me right? No. How old are you? I'm 18. Oh, God, I love you. What are you, young boy? That's the most drunk I've ever seen anyone. Oh, Blake's holding me. Oh, I Blake loves you. Okay, come on. Yes. Yes, yes, okay. yes. Look, we're <laughs> going home. Patching them up was one thing. <laughs> Getting them safely off the beach is proving much harder. <laughs> I literally couldn't walk. I couldn't get up those steps. <laughs> this is why you don't have glass yeah. at the beach. He was he really good. Me. He saved oh, my he life. <laughs> Let's hope that's over with. <laughs> Chief lifeguard Hoppo and his long-serving mate Corey have seen it all before. Hoppo's lost count of how many rescues he's done, but they've ranged from deadly serious to comic. There's a bloke in the girl. It's the furthest out in right in front of us. Can't champ, you can do it. They've spotted swimmers caught in a rip. I love seeing the great man go in. He doesn't get wet very often these days. And... His, his instincts kick straight in. He couldn't help himself. In he goes. Normally, people face the shore when they come in on rescue boards. But Irish tourist Sarah isn't keen on having her rear end in Hoppo's face. No, you won't find that rescue in the textbook, but nonetheless, it looks effective, doesn't it? I'm sure it's a crowd pleaser. I think it's love. They're not kissing, are they? Oh, look, she's thanking him, shaking hands and everything. I see did that on purpose. <laughs> my life. He saved my life. I would have been dead. I did not realise how far I was. I, would... yeah. I did not realise. She's um, learnt some perks of the job. <laughs> You've seen them arms. She didn't want to get on. A lot of girls don't like getting on with the guys because when they're on the front, you pretty much your face is on their backside. So. Makes it a lot, a lot harder to paddle, but we got her in in the end. But it's more a comical sort of thing than, than a standard rescue. An intoxicated swimmer missing for two hours has sparked a full-scale search. Find my central hot with you. Any more word back on that guy who's missing? Yeah, ATV. Find my central. Box. Those, the ones that were looking for him, were last seen leaving the beach. So. They may even have found him, just haven't come back. Yeah, okay, copy that. Then, the mystery of Paul, the missing Irishman, is solved. This has been found. He'd been asleep back at his car in South Bondi. Hello. I kept walking up and down and up and down. I couldn't find him, so I said, right, first thing the father told me when I was a kid was, if you can't find your friends, you go back to where you came from. So I went back to the car. Common knowledge will tell you that. <laughs> I waited and waited and waited and I fell asleep and woke up and I just said, right, Grant, to come along at some stage. But I didn't think there'd be such a panic, like, and I apologise over that. I'm very sorry to the services, to the lifeguards, anybody who's on the beach looking for me, I apologise and I'm very, very sorry. I didn't mean to cause any havoc. Paul wants to offer lifeguards 
more sober apologies. I didn't realise how serious it was, like, you know. Yeah. And I do apologise. Amazing to, to think that like, there were so many people looking for me and there was helicopters and everything going <laughs> looking for me. Like, Did the match of anyone looking for you? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Ready you warned, bud. I'm very, I'm very it's usually the cops. <laughs> <laughs> On Bondi, most beachgoers can't wait to get their gear off. But some seem to find the dress code confusing. Come on! If you're you, you think you've got a tight body, I'll show you a tight body. Look at nothing. I can't explain it. Is he a weirdo? Well, we're, I'm going yes. On a beach where almost anything goes, some behaviour still turns heads. I'm really intrigued. Time to explain himself. Well, there I was, man. I was f***ing out you, man, after your shock, and I was like, oh, buddy, you're like, me, watch, there's a f***ing shock behind you, and he was like, oh, me. Full of Irish spirit, Kieran was the best man at his brother's wedding. A day later, he's still kicking on at his very own beach party. Reedy investigates. How are you doing? What's happening? Just having a bit of crack this time, bro. bro. Just saying if you want to come do some training with us. Oh, yeah, do you want to go for a jog? Then we're going to do some swimming. Let's go for a run. You want to go for a run? Yeah. I'll race you out to North Bondi back. You ready? You're it. Go. Ah, he's off again. I think it's lovely to meet you. Intoxicated, no. smoking, and now disturbing beachgoers, Kieran's time is up. Sergeant uh, Terry went down and escorted him off the beach. Right through, excuse me. What we want you to do is go home safely. Yeah, after six. And stay off the beach. That's fine. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Got that? Uh, yeah. Got these three guys down here, rigs on their blue line drunk. They're just getting moved. You might want to have to pull them up. <laughs> Put some goddamn pants on. Seriously. You're embarrassing yourself, your friends, and your family. If you don't put your pants on, you're going to have to get off the beach. Alcohol is banned on Bondi. <laughs> so is nudity. Oh, Biddy's just gone up for the second time to tell these guys. Oh, they're going to do a dance for Dino. <laughs> I wouldn't be laughing, eh? I'd be quite ashamed of myself. He might have lost his pants in a, in a dance-off. And now he's come home with a skirt. Look at him. I think he likes it. Getting drunk and getting naked are both banned at Bondi. Naked, fueled up Irishmen <laughs> who like to do headstands and tutus. <laughs> I've never seen anything like it. There's definitely a time and a place for nudity and it's not down the beach at 12 o'clock on a Sunday, so... But the Irish shenanigans aren't over yet. They've devised a brand new show. Move over river dance. This is Liver Dance. If you're ever going to come and act like an absolute kook, this is the place to do it. <laughs> yeah, look, the hippie pyramid's coming up. Hey, one more human pyramid. Human pyramid. Wait, 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 keep it steady! Just a regular day in a Bondi summer. Now try to put some pants on. Yeah, we're yelling at him, put some pants on. 
Hey, put some pants on. Tutu man's got to put his pants on. That's why we come every day. We turn uh, up every day just for the uh, chance of seeing someone like that. Put some pants on. But the performance isn't quite over yet. Oh, you see, he enjoys Moiga. Hey, John.